Hi everyone, Diamond Peter here. Uh, sorry, just getting you sorted there. Um, just thought I'd pop in and do a a video today because I haven't done one for a while. Um, it is currently Wednesday the 3rd of January. Um, I got back from my mum and dad's this morning. So I went over just before Christmas and spent Christmas with them. My partner came over with our dog Willow and we had a beautiful Christmas, family Christmas lunch. I think I've already told you this in another video, but I'll just run give you a quick rundown. And then he came straight back on Christmas afternoon. I came back over here on um, Friday morning, the following Friday. Um, I was supposed to come back Thursday because we were supposed to spend Friday um, with my partner's family, but my partner was unwell and he had to spend um, two and a half hours in the emergency at the hospital which was a waste of time because he just sat there and sat there and no one decided to see him so he ended up getting up and walking out and then <clears throat> um, I came back over on the Sunday oh the Saturday was my partner's birthday the 30th so it was his birthday and I took him out for lunch we had a nice dinner that evening and then Sunday morning, Sunday was my birthday. So his is the 30th, mine's the 31st, New Year's Eve. And he took me out for breakfast on Sunday morning, which was lovely. And then I headed back over to my mum and dad's um, to see my family for my birthday and have a family dinner, New Year's Eve for my birthday, which was really nice. It was just low key. We didn't go out anywhere. Sometimes we go out for dinner, but we decided just to have a family dinner at home with my mum, dad, my brother and my daughter. Um, which was really nice and that's what I wanted so and then he he spent um, oh what day was it all the days are jumbled into one he spent another day at the hospital actually no it was the Friday I came back he on boxing day he spent two and a half day, two and a half hours at the hospital on the Friday I came back he went to another town which was an hour away We've got a hospital, a small hospital where we live, but there's no doctors on call. Um, they have to get a doctor from somewhere else because we live out in the outback, there's nothing here. So he had to drive over an hour to see a doctor and he sat in the emergency ward for six and a half hours before he was seen. Um, which, yes, it was a long time, but it was a blessing because he needed to be seen straight away. Um, and he was and we now have you know some answers he's got to see a specialist for an operation and yeah so anyway he's he's okay put it put it that way he's okay it's not not life-threatening as such but he needs to um see a specialist and have an operation this year so but anyway so that's so that was that and then i came back today from new year um spent new year with my family and um yeah so i'm back today came back to, to um, obviously to do some housework, clean up, tidy up, um, look after Willow, our rescue dog, and to find work because I still haven't got a job as such. So yes, so I've got to go and see if I can find some work. Um, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on what I got for Christmas and my birthday. Um, it's not all the stuff because I can't show you everything. I've got little bits and pieces. I've got money. I got um, money given to me, which was I was so grateful for because that money is going to be put aside for my car registration because I'm not working. I need money, obviously, for my car. So otherwise, I yeah, um, I'm going to be stuck. So I was very grateful for um, my partner and my mum and dad giving me money for Christmas and my birthday. So, um, but yeah, so these are just some of the smaller things that I got. <clears throat> now, oh, where do I start? So my daughter gave me a, an AirPod case, so I have my AirPods in this at the moment. Um, but I'm going to, I want something to take away with me on my keyring keychain, so that's perfect. So it came from a place here in Australia called Sports Girl, I don't know if that's anywhere else. And I can put them in there and carry them on my keychain now, which I'm excited about because I wanted one of these for a while now. So yeah, so that was really good. And I like the colour too. Um, she also gave me some of these. I've already opened these. These are reusable cooling iPads. So you put these in the refrigerator and then when your eyes are sore or itchy, I get a lot of hay fever out here where we live. We've got um, fields and it's, yeah, it's not good for hay fever. 
and my eyes quite often get itchy and watery and stingy so um, I'm gonna try these so you put them in the fridge refrigerator and then you put them on your eyes and it's supposed to be soothing um, she says that they're good she's got some and she said they, they work really well so I was happy about those um, the other thing she gave me was these um, this is from a company. I don't know if you guys have I think you do have this overseas um, I know I think the UK has it. It's called lush This is the snow fairy line now. This is I think this is the only the only time they bring this one out is at Christmas time um, And once it's sold out, I think that's it. So I've got a foaming body scrub um, It smells so good. I wish you could have smell of vision or smell video, but um, oh, It smells so good. I love it, but I haven't used that one yet I'm going to I might use that tonight and this is a lip mask now my lips get really dry and cracked and bleed quite often I get dry lips and you just put a little tiny bit of this on and I tell you what it works so well so if you have a lush near you and they have some of this um, I can certainly recommend the lip balm I haven't tried this yet but um, I think we had some of this years ago and I absolutely love the smell of it so that's why she got me those I'm really looking forward to using those and along the smelly line if that, if that makes sense she got me this it's a whipped shower foam it's gingerbread scented and it comes with the gingerbread sponge I haven't used it yet but it looks so cool so yeah so I'm going to have fun using that as well <coughs> um, my brother my brother gave me this it's a sun catcher and it's shaped like a butterfly it's got a butterfly and it's got crystals so I'm going to hang that um, in my craft window I've got two windows over to the side here and I'm going to I've got a hot air balloon crystal hanging at the top and I'm going to hang the butterfly on the other one so that's going to be really pretty there's some crystals here too on the top so I'm going to put that up later. I'm going to leave that one out because I need to put that up. He also gave me a turtle bag. I haven't opened it yet, but that's what it looks like. And that's the pattern. So it's got turtles on it. So that will be perfect for me to take if I get another job or even shopping or, you know, with my lunch in it to work or whatever. If you don't know, I love dolphins and turtles are my two probably my two favorite animals and then dogs obviously yeah but turtles and dolphins um, yeah so that's that one and then <coughs> my daughter got me these for the car she knows I love Care Bears these are air fresheners for the car so these came from a company called Typo um, we used to have a typo store at one of the places we used to travel to for shopping but they have closed down now so i think she ordered these online but yeah there's a little care bear smelly thing that you hang in the car and that is what did i say strawberry scented that one and then the other one she got me was a snoopy melon scented one so i'm going to put one of these in my car tomorrow i think they're cute stop and smell the flowers <laughs> I like peanuts. I like Snoopy too. So she got me two of those for my car. So I'm going to put one of them in tomorrow. Now, my family know I love nutcrackers. So I got one of these. My daughter gave me this. I actually bought I bought one like this and I bought my daughter one. And I wrapped this one up and she gave me this one. Because they know that I love nutcrackers. And she would have, she would have got me one if she'd have seen it anyway. But it's strawberry flavoured lip balm. My brother got me some um, nutcracker tea towels and look guys his feet hang <laughs> his feet hang down the bottom of the tea towel that's so cute oh, there's a bit of paper on him but that's the first tea towel and then the second one is this one it's got the sugar plum fairy it's got the nutcrackers different color nutcrackers there's a blue one down there it's got some little birds candy canes yeah, so I'm going to use those next Christmas. Those tea towels, they're lovely. Also, he got me just for fun a nutcracker Lego kit. <laughs> now I'm I turned 53 on New Year's Eve and I've never had Lego before. So I was so excited, guys, so excited. So yeah, I haven't put him together yet. He's still all in here in bags and bits. 
but um, yeah, so and it comes with the instruction booklet, so I'm going to have fun sitting there doing that one day, and I will put him up on my mantelpiece next Christmas for for Christmas. So a Christmas Lego Nutcracker. I thought that was so cute. Um, he, my brother, also got me these. So he got me. Oh, that one's fallen out. He got me. I don't know if you can see these. They're so tiny. Some little tiny turtle earrings with pink stones in them. He tried to get the necklace and earrings to match, but the, the necklace, unfortunately, he could only get the necklace in blue and he could only get the earrings in pink, but they're still cute. I'm going, I've already worn the earrings, but they're so pretty and dainty. And then for my birthday, he also got me this necklace, which is so beautiful. It's got sister written on it. And it's got some little rose gold roses. So dainty and pretty. Yeah, absolutely love it. It's beautiful. So, yeah, so I was very lucky. And I got a gift card off my daughter for my birthday. As well as um, a bunch of flowers, which I will show you here. She, um, she gave me a beautiful card. I got cards off everyone. There's my flowers. They're absolutely beautiful. The sunflower was gorgeous absolutely beautiful so i brought them home with me i've got them in my kitchen here um we had a charcuterie board for dinner we had other things as well but that was the main thing in the center of the table we had some prawns we had prawn cocktails yeah it was really nice so it was just so nice to have um to have a family dinner for Christmas and New Year because some, um, you know, mum and dad are getting on in age. And as horrible as it sounds, you just never know if we're all gonna to be together again for Christmas or anything like that. It just runs through your mind, I suppose, the older they get. So yeah, but um but that's pretty much it. I've just finished, I've already sealed this so I can't can't pick it up very well. I've just finished my January sign I've just sealed it so I'm waiting for it to dry so I can hang it up I've taken the December one down and I'll put the chain on this one and hang this one up can't believe it's January already time just goes so quick it's unreal um the other thing I got that I haven't finished opening is this advent calendar um it was when I looked at these ages ago they were about 20 Australian dollars and that's a lot of money for a um, an advent calendar. Yes, it's Disney, but um, and there's only 12 days on it. It's not like there's 24. So I decided to get myself one, and um, I wrapped it up for my daughter to give me for Christmas as well. So, but yeah, this is some little baubles. I've only opened the one at the moment, but this is some little baubles that's got Elsa on it, and you hang them on your tree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little small. Christmas tree for in here for my craft room for over there in the corner of my desk and I'm going to hang these so we'll open the next one together and I'll show you what it is but yeah I'm going to open all these in the next couple of days oh this one's cute so this is Lady from Lady and the Tramp but um, it shows you on the back all the ones you can get so yeah so I'm going to definitely get a little tree to put all of them on and um yeah so that was my christmas and my birthday and new year and oh yeah so oh the other thing i got sorry there's one sitting here my daughter gave me this too um i haven't done it yet i've opened it to have a look at it it's a create your own snow globe build your own snow globe and it's a lego thing as well i was so excited about this one it's got the little gingerbread house in it um this one i think lights up i think it yeah it has lights and sounds and the snow and it makes the snow go up as well so it must have a bit of air or something in it but yeah you build the snowman and santa and the gingerbread house um so it comes with your little instruction booklet again shows you how to do you know each section and it comes with the snow um that's santa that you put together but yeah so as soon as i've done that one i will show you show you that one as well i'm so excited um i don't very often you know do things like this obviously um, lego and things like that because i'm 53 years of age but i've never had as i said a lego kit so i was so excited i got two this christmas yay 
Um, and the other thing I, I did buy with my money um, that I, I decided to get was with some birthday money. You, do you remember when I showed you what I had, what I got for my daughter for Christmas? I got her a, I'm just trying to find it, a doll's house off Timu. Well, I got myself one, guys. I'm going to start getting into miniature stuff. So she hasn't started hers yet. She's taken it out of the box and had a look at it. I've actually ordered a little craft mat. I need to get a craft knife set because I believe all the stuff needs cutting out, the paint, the, you know, all the little bits and pieces. But, yeah, I'm so excited. So I'm going to start doing my own little doll's house. Yay. I will do some of that on video um, for those of you who are interested. Some of you might not be, but that's fine. Um, if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. But I just thought some people out there might be interested in seeing this little doll's house come together and I'm also going to incorporate some cross stitch um, maybe even some diamond painting in there as well um, just for fun so yeah anyway guys that's all I have time for um, I am working on these next so these are the mason jar stickers that I got I haven't got the mason jars or the cups yet to put them on these came from Timu if you want to watch I think it was my one of my last videos I ordered these they're stickers that that one cuts off there and you've got that one, that one, and that one. My mum really liked this one, and so did my daughter. So I'm thinking about making that one for one of them. And I might even order another set and do another one of those for them. But yeah, so, and you wrap them around the drinking, the clear drinking mason jars. And um, yeah, so you've got a nice sticker on your jar to drink out of. So this is what I'll be doing next. I've already kitted this one up. I was going to do a kidding kidding up on camera but I was at mum's and I don't like filming when I'm at mum's it's a bit awkward so um and I didn't take my stand with me or anything so yeah so I'm um, that's what I'm going to be working on next I don't know if I'll get all four done or if I'll just get one done and then do something else and come back to it because I have some other I have a few other diamond painting kits coming from Timu that I spent some of my birthday money on just a little bit they're not very expensive ones um, and then I've put the rest of my money away, obviously, to save up for my car. But I just bought myself a couple of small things because I, I thought, figured why not. They were on special at the time. I've got an Easter, something to do with diamond painting and Easter coming. Actually, I've got two items coming for Easter. Um, I've got another, well, I've got two sets of diamond painting earrings coming. I may as well tell you that. Um, and I have the doll's house and I have a couple of other things coming as well to show you. So I've got one, I think, coming tomorrow or the next day and then the other one will be here next week. So as soon as they come, I will do a video and show you. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me waffle on. <laughs> I hope this was of some interest to you. I, I don't know. But I think I like watching what people get for Christmas and things like that. And sometimes you get ideas especially if you you know know where people get things from i suppose it's a bit hard because they're gifts and i don't know where everything came from but um but yeah sometimes it gives you an idea for gifts for people um, and it's, it's just interesting seeing what people get anyway thank you so much for watching please give my video a thumbs up if you liked it uh, subscribe subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you tomorrow hopefully fingers crossed with um i have one item coming from timu but it's diamond painting related. So yeah, so I'll see you then. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.